In this problem, we're told to evaluate the integral using integration by parts. And so we're given the integral of x times e to the 2x dx, and we're told that u is equal to x, and dv is equal to e to the 2x dx. So in order to solve this problem, you need to know this formula, or the formula for integration by parts. It's going to be equal to u times v minus the integral of v times du. So this is the formula we're going to use to solve. And so notice how we're given u and we're given dv. But notice how we need to find du and v. And so we're going to use these values that they give us in order to actually solve for them. So just first write down what you're given. So u is equal to x. And then we know dv is equal to e to the 2x dx. And so we're trying to find du and v. So du and v. So what is du? du is just going to be the derivative of u. And so it's just x. The derivative of x we know is just 1. And so it's just going to be 1 dx. I'm just going to write it as dx, though. And then what's the, so they give us dv and we need to find v. And so we can do this by taking the integral of e to the 2x. So if we're trying to take the integral of e to the 2x dx. What we can do is use u substitution. So u is equal to 2x, right? And then we got to take the derivative of it, which is just going to be 2 dx. And then if we divide both sides by 2, dx is essentially du over 2. So we're going to have the integral of e and then we replace the 2x with u. And then it's du over 2. So we can move this out front, 1 half e to the u du. And then we got to replace, we got to take the integral of it, right? So the anti antiderivative, which is going to be 1 half e to the u, it doesn't change, right? And then plug back in. So it's essentially just 1 half e to the 2x. So that's going to be v. And so now that we have v, what we're going to be able to do is just plug it back in and actually go ahead and solve. So let me write it up here, 1 half e to the 2x. And you can check this, right? If we want to take the, if we take the derivative of this, it should give us this, right? So e to the 2x, you take the derivative of your outside function, which is e to the x, stays e to the x, and then just multiply it by 2, right? So we multiply by the derivative of our inside, which is 2. 2 times 1 half is 1, right? So it just becomes e to the 2x. That's just a way to check it, though, to make sure you're right. And then now that we've got everything, we can just go ahead and plug it in. So what's u? We know u is going to be x, right? And then v we know is 1 half times e to the 2x minus the integral of v, which we know is 1 half e to the 2x times du. And so we know du is just dx. So if we want to solve this one now, all we have to do is take uh, the integral of this, right? So let's rewrite this x times 1 half e to the 2x minus, and then we got to take the integral of this. So Essentially what it's going to be, it's just going to be 1 over 4 times e to the 2x. I'm not going to walk you through this one because uh, eventually at some point you'll be able to just do it by looking at it, right? Because uh, you can just check it too, right? If I take the derivative of this, it's just going to be 2 times the 1 half, and this whole part will stay the same, right? So 2, or 2 times 1 over 4, and 2 times 1 over 4 is 1 half. So hopefully you'll get to a point where you don't need to use u substitution to solve them because they're going to get a lot more complicated. But essentially it's just going to be x times 1 half e to the 2x minus uh, the integral or the integral of this right here, right? Which is 1 over 4 e to the 2x. And then don't forget whenever you do these, you have to add c. So this right here is going to be your final answer and hopefully you found this useful.